I've been uh, painting and drawing probably uh, most of my life, um, making stuff. Born and raised in San Angelo, moved to Austin for about 10 years and did printmaking at UT. And uh, then COVID hit, so I really started painting a lot because I was at home for a couple years. So then we got a studio and uh, started doing real well. It's, uh, it's a great thing. People come in and pay money for your stuff. <laughs> it's, it's a great surprise every time. That was a, that was the two rules to art <laughs> that I learned at UT. Yes, yes, we learned. There it is. If you can't make it good, make it big. <laughs> can't make it big, make it red. <laughs> Any artist that uses a lot of color, I really get inspired by. Them. What is it about color that you, you're so drawn to? I don't know, but it <laughs> it, it 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 just says so much. It, some folks were asking me to do a black and white painting, and I, I don't know if I could do that. I was a firefighter here for 30 years. Firefighting was a great job, and it kept you know kept you in, in some money. You didn't get rich, but you, you made enough to live on, and uh, it gave me opportunity to to uh, have some hours to paint and to make art. The skeleton series is a, a, a series of me and a and a friend uh, in some of our adventures. The impressionists, I really like looking at, at their art. Uh, uh, Van Gogh, Surratt, uh, all those guys. You know, I'll start out with a, with a composition that I like, uh, you know, on a smaller piece of paper, and, and then I'll draw it on the canvas just to, with pencil, just draw out the composition and get to where I like it, and then just start throwing color at it. Uh, like this mountain right here is the backside of Enchanted Rock, um, and then, of course, 100 different photos of, of uh, Indian blankets and uh, blue bonnets and uh, just put them all together and, and, and made this come out of it. A combination of the, of the hill country, yeah. Because I love driving through the hill country when the wildflowers are in bloom. This was uh, 30 days from start to finish. If it's a challenge, then it, then it's, it, it, uh, uh, it interests me. If, I, if I've never done it before, then I have to try it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but I, I've never done a big, painting of wildflowers before, so I thought I'd just give it a try. I've got a, an eight-footer down at the Pop Art Museum. That's the biggest I think I've done, but this is, this is probably one of the bigger ones. All the creatives have come out of the woodwork. I mean, there's, a, a, you know, 200 artists here in this show, and they're all from the San Angelo area. It's amazing how many, how many artists we have here.